Hello everyone, welcome back to SCP-087-B, The Ultimate Revival. As you recall, I died on floor 25 in the last time we played this, and here we are back on floor 25, because this game does not have a checkpoint system. You have to replay back from the beginning. Uh, so, we're going to try it again uh, from where we died last time, and, you know, hopefully get through this. Uh, so if you recall, I fell down a pit last time because there's this creepy little spider thing like crawling towards us uh, so I thought it best just to jump down the hole which obviously that was not the correct thing to do so hopefully we don't get put in that situation again yeah and I don't know if how, how loud y'all can hear that but this dude loves to breathe in my ear like excessively loud and uh, I know it's like kind of like procedurally generated or whatever so it's not consistent on how things spawn in oh look the light please don't kill me holy well, I don't like that what just happened tell me this isn't permanent what what was Anyway, this creepy thing spawned at the end of the hall when I just walk backwards to get away from it. Uh, other than that, and that guy saying weird random stuff, I haven't really run into too much this time through. I'm really hoping my vision levels back out. Um, so yeah, other than that, it's been a pretty straightforward game. Getting back up to where I was. What is that? 30. We're gonna turn around. So I think that's where when it makes that noise it switches. Which yeah, see now this is down. Okay, cool. So we don't want to go up, we know that. Uh the endless stairs simulator. And I was kind of reading. Oh no! That must might have killed me. Stop! No! 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 You're not supposed to look in the windows because he will come get you. And now, we now here we are again. Please proceed with caution. Ah, great stuff great stuff. So what I think I'm going to do, because of the nature of this game and the fact that there's no checkpoints and you kind of just go, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do one playthrough per video. And if I get through it, great. If not, then... Like, if, if I, like, this time, I like, where I died in, like, three minutes kind of thing. If that happens again, we'll keep going, obviously. Um, but because putting out a three-minute video just seems kind of very short. <laughs> Lackluster, if you will. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is kind of, like, one good attempt, one solid attempt. And if I keep going, we keep going, we keep going. You know, just keep on going. I think there's, like, a hundred-something levels to this. Uh, which, with that main levels, it kind of hurts that you go back to the beginning. Uh, with that being said, I think I'm going to work in another series with this, uh, just to kind of get some variety, and if this is SCP-087 you know, Stairway Simulator 4000 is not your cup of tea, then you won't... There will basically be something else uh, those same weeks that I put it out. I may do one of these and one of something else. Uh, if, you know, you'd like me to focus on just, you know, trying to be quick. Thank you. Anyway, if you want to see me just, like, kind of focus on this to beat it, you know, let me know down in the comments below. If you want me to, like, mix something in like I was talking about, you know, let me know. Uh, if there's any horror games that you would like to see me play, you know, again, let me know down in the comments. Uh... And I'll get uh, a Discord set up and linked 
to my channel as well. So if you want to give me, you know, like talk to me on there, we can make that happen as well. Uh, you know, I do have a Twitter. Y'all can hit me up on there as well. Uh, but yeah, I hope y'all's weeks have been going well. It snowed in Texas. Uh, I think that information's out there. If you didn't know. Okay, let's make that stop, please. Yeah, okay, that was terrible and off-putting. Anyway, it snowed in Texas. Wouldn't really say snow. It's more like razor blades falling from the sky because Texas doesn't get light, fluffy snow like other places. We get just frozen ice that falls in clumps. All right, floor 10. So we were confined to our house for a couple of days. Luckily, uh, I had, actually I don't, I don't think I've said this, but I had uh, the gastric sleeve done. Um, which if you're not familiar uh, and you're curious, it's where they cut a portion of your stomach out. Uh, like 80% of your stomach's removed or something crazy like that. So you essentially have like a banana stomach. So you can't eat as much. Uh, which is something that, you know, personal struggles and all, uh, I struggle with portion control. Or I did. Because, uh, you know, kind of forced portion control now, thanks to the sleep kind of thing. Uh, but, by doing that, I can't eat near as much as I used to. Which, for me, is a good thing. It kept me from, I guess, eating myself to death. Uh, I've actually lost not a, you know, pretty substantial amount of weight saw you uh, since I had my surgery back in, on December 2nd of 2021. So if you've been watching my videos, you'll probably see like a progression of me losing weight. And I think this will be kind of like a kind of neat record of that as well. Just kind of watching like the time frame of me losing weight through this. But I'll tell you what that would really help me lose weight is if I stuck in SCP-087-B. Uh-huh. Yeah, just this endless walking. Floor 15. So do not look in those windows. It's not worth it because it seals off the route in front of you and you die. I think that may be what happened the very first episode of this. Uh, so we're not going to make that mistake again. I really, you know, get like, um, those Pac-Man I'm okay. <laughs> uh, another reason I got the surgery is that these videos were gonna kill him. Have a heart attack. Man, this really is no, 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 come on, twice in a, oh, he's faster. Hey, 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 Slappy McSlapperson, stop. I heard your feet making a slap sound. Like you're smacking them cheeks. Clapping them cheeks. I'm not looking through that window, nope. Is this what it's gonna turn into? Like the lower I get, it's gonna be like, oh, he's there. Oh, window on both sides. Where do we look? We look up, we look down, we look left. No, we can't look, can't. I said look left, I looked right. Uh, you don't have to comment about that down in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. I do know my left from my right, which, yeah, this isn't a mirror, so this is left. Yeah, okay, no, I'm, my screen that I have my recording up is up there. So I can kind of see it out of the corner of my eye. Stop it! What is with the repeats? Do something original. The scares are becoming monotonous. We were on floor 27. We are almost back to where we were when we died at the beginning of this episode. And what a journey it's been. We've had laughs. There's been no tears. We bonded over stories. I wonder what these walls taste like. 
I think they're kind of salty, just kind of like that constant like water drip where it's like running through, kind of like a cave where the water just kind of like runs through everything and picks up, you know, different minerals and stuff. <sighs> follow the red brick road, follow the red brick road. I think those are red. I'm pretty sure they're red, you know, red brick. Oh. Uh, Come on, clicker man. Ooh, no. <laughs> I figured you out, son. You ain't getting me. I showed you my butt and your light flash didn't do duty. 44, we are making progress. Can I get a progress city in chat? All aboard the train to Progress City. Anyway, red brick comet. Reason I say that, colorblind. Not full. Red green deficient. Which, if you don't know, means my rods or cones or what have you didn't develop right. It skips a generation. Uh, I got it from my grandfather. God rest his soul. Uh, I wish he wouldn't have given me colorblindness. Just because. My friends are mean, and they like to be like, what color is this? What color is this? Like, if it's by itself, I know it's red. Like, my light accents are red. And that's not just because I tell Google to turn it red. It's because I know they're red. I can tell they're red by the by the eyes and by seeing. No. Oh, oh he's behind me. Oh, he's in front of me. Ah, I don't know where to look to make that stop. Okay, we'd be done with that. Duh. Duh. Screw you. I would be the worst test subject for this. Like, if this was me in this situation, I would just be swearing up a storm. 48. I would just... Really, I probably would just sit on that door and wait until they let me out. You know, if they take a while and let me out, I'd start gnawing on my leg or something. Or... Nah. There's a question for y'all. Would you rather lose an arm or a leg? Per I mean, yes, I know, preferably neither, but if you're in a situation where you're like, oh, you gotta lose an arm or a leg, like a jigsaw thing from Saw, would you choose an arm or a leg? I think if I had to choose, it'd probably be a leg because prosthetics for legs seem a lot more comparable, I guess. I mean, we're getting better, but there's just, you know, Fingies, you need your fingies. All right, we are on floor 50, guys. Woo, 50 shots for floor 50. I don't know, don't do that. That is too much. I don't, I, I even, the Ian Genius does not condone consuming 50 shots for floor 50 because if there is 100 some odd floors, y'all would all be dead. Oh, he's behind me. No, he's in front. Ah. <laughs> The problem now is the stress of failure is starting to outweigh the stress of playing a horror game. And we are not looking out that window because... Oh, <laughs> oh I make the worst noises with jump scares. <laughs> One time you're just... No. 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 Oh, oh, I was about to be so mad. I was about to be so mad. I'm so mad. Would have been so mad. So apparently you gotta go nut butt on that wall to avoid not getting creepy face. And I guess I did it right not looking at him. Maybe. Maybe he just wanted a little cheat grab and then just kind of moved on from there. My phone is blowing up. 
I almost looked too far into that window. Anyway, what I was gonna say is that sound sounds like when you're frothing up a, like a whipped cream can into like hot chocolate or some coffee or something. Speaking of which, coffee or tea? Let me know down in the comments below. There's a question for y'all. And if you say tea or coffee, hot or cold, so really it's a two-part question, tea, coffee, hot or cold. <clears throat> I like cold coffee for the most part, like iced coffee. I will drink hot coffee in the mornings, uh, but I prefer like the iced caramel macchiato. Um, but I do like hot peppermint mocha, so there is that. As far as tea, tea has to be cold. I will drink hot tea, but it's not ever something I'm like, I want that. At least not that I've tried. Because I usually do like little packets or something. I've never actually like went out and got hot tea. Which, you know, shout out to Andy, my buddy over there in England. I'm sorry if me not liking hot tea offends you. But, you know, different cultures, I guess. Man, oh man. I've stopped looking at the numbers. I'm still holding down shift. It is just some part of my brain. It's just like, gotta hold shift to go faster. We're on floor 80. Good job, everybody. Making progress. Ugh. Anyway. Taking a couple college classes this semester. Uh, so I've never finished college. I enlisted in the military after my freshman year. I became a combat medic and did that for six years. Uh, and after that was done, I kind of took classes off and on, but you know, real life is expensive. So I usually spent more time working than studying for my classes and just kind of dropped out and now that I've had a stable career for the last several years I've started taking online classes to try to finish my degree uh, if you didn't know I don't think I've talked about it a whole lot I work in finance I am not a financial advisor though I've never had one of those roles I've done Corporate actions. I've done a lot of principal work, and that's kind of what I do now is more principal work, uh, which may change this this uh, coming week. So, you know, fingers crossed if you're seeing this uh, that I got the promotion. Uh, we'll find out, I guess. So if I come back in about a week or so, super happy, you know, I got the job, the job. Sorry, my brain just broke. Anyway, I play D&D. So my parents know that. And uh, maybe sometime I'll tell you about that. My family history is, you know, a little wonky. Uh, I am adopted. So, you know, shout out to my adopted folks. You know, kudos to you because it's not easy a lot of the time. I mean, some people got... You know, sometimes it's a bad situation, sometimes it's a good situation, but, you know, shout out to y'all. Anyway, my parents know that I play D&D. And so my, they got me a dice briefcase kind of thing. It's like a, almost like a display case that's got, uh, like, nice foam in it that's cut out for, you know, a set of D&D dice. And so they also got me, a, you know, a fancy set of dice, which... Since I've started, that seems to be like a go-to gift that a lot of people give me. Uh, my wife gets it for me, my friends get it for me. Now my parents are getting it for me. It's just like fancy metal dice or, you know, some kind of fancy dice. So I got to put it in that case, which is pretty cool. Yeah. He's like walking at me like he's a shark. Whoa! Nose itches. My side itches. Everything itches. But yeah, I got a display case for my dice, which is pretty sweet. And I also got this little dragon 
boop, right up there. That's for my brother. It is a blue Draco Lich. Draco Lich? Probably Draco Lich. Draco Lich. However you want to say it. It's a blue Lich Dragon. It's pretty sweet. Might have to write up a campaign to put that in there. Do -ba -do -do. We are on floor 91, folks. 91. Thank you for sticking with me as we plod our way. And I say plod like, <sighs> because it's this is a slow pace. This is a very slow pace to go this long. And as I was saying, there's a hundred floors. I'm gonna have to, or two hundred floors. I'm gonna have to reach out and be like, dude, who's gonna finish this? Just those die-hard people, those die-hard four fans, or those die-hard SCP fans. But the average Joe, what is this kind of room? No. <clears throat> isn't going to finish 200 floors of this. I really don't want to die. Why is it turn? Why is it a maze? What is this? Is that a pit? No, stairs. Okay, if that was a pit and that stupid little red spider got behind me, I'd cry. I'd break down and cry because we're on floor 102. We have to be, have to be close. I can't remember if the developer said there's 160 or 125. I really hope it's the latter, but I'm pretty sure it's the prior. I really just want to finish it. Like, I have like, almost like that, you know, oh, that you're getting sick, kind of, because you're like nervous, like butterflies. Like, oh, you know, I really like this girl, we're on this super awesome date kind of thing. I want to hold her hand, but I hope she doesn't turn into a scary monster and stab me in the face. Nice. I see what he did there. When that flipped, it put you by the window. So if you would have turned and looked in the window, you would have got God. And that's not fair. <sighs> yeah, Matt, clear your throat. But what is at the bottom? There better be that rave. Surely, you know. 54 floors away from the bottom, you should be able to hear the rave, just, just that deep droning bass sound, because you know you're close. You start to lift your spirits because you want to be at that rave. You want to party. You want to throw glow sticks. Suck on a pacifier. I don't know what you do at a rave. I've never been to a rave. Been to concerts. Never been to a rave. Last concert I've been to. Uh, was Trans-Siberian Orchestra right before Christmas. It was amazing. And then before that, we saw Metallica, I do believe, was the next most recent concert I was at. Drove up to Oklahoma to go see them. Metallica is the loudest place I've ever been. But by God, it was good. They put on a good show. I should start making bets like, oh, if I don't finish, I'll shave part of my hair. We're on floor 109 and the stress, my freaking foot is starting to bounce. <laughs> Developer, please let me make it. I believe I can fly. Woo! I believe I can touch the sky. I won't. Uh, we're gonna put our butt to the window. Fingers crossed, guys. We can do it. We can do it.
That's it. That's it, I'm done. Why? 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 Well, let me know what you thought down in the comments. And uh, thank y'all for hanging out through 110 floors. I will try at a later date to get back to floor 110 so we can finish this together. But right now, I have to stop. So thank you for hanging out. I will see y'all in the next one.